Welcome back boys, and girls maybe. This video is going to start as a nutrition video. My snacks, lunch, and more the day before, and the day of my Watford Open Race meet, and the day afterwards. Uh, it's going to be a long video, three in one. I'll describe it as, because the day afterwards also includes a little bit of recovery stuff. It's going to be a good one though. Let's go straight into it. So the first snack of the day is always a fruit snack. I have this at break in school. Always around 11 o'clock, like it is now, 10 past. Today we have a little fruit salad. We just added a lot of watermelon. Add that second. That every day I always have a banana. Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Always have one banana a day, along with one of those like watermelon or mango packet things. But today I've got fruit salad because it's half term. Woo. Yeah. Okay, boys. This isn't a snack, but it's lunch, so I'm going to include it. I'll give you a basic overview. I'm going to have a roll. In the roll, I'm going to have a little bit of salad. Then I'm going to have some German meats, not the cheese though, the smoked cheese is my father's. Also, I'm going to have a bit of butter right now, just on the bread, on the rolls even. Then, a bit of cheese. Then on the side I'll have probably a bit more of that fruit salad. Oh, and the vegetables that I also put in it. So in the, salad, in the rolls I'll have, I'll go through each of those, butter, meats. Cheese and then vegetables. Do you know, I'm not, I'm pretty sure I could fit that salad into. I'll come across that bridge when I, when I need to cross it. I'll show you in a second. So, boys, this is the full lunch. So, the main feature the two rolls, seed rolls, upside down, obviously, with the salad, the meats, the cheese, etc., and the more vegetables. Oat things for afterwards, a little bit more carbs, and then afterwards, got the yogurt with the honey. I'm not sure what I'd call that though. Muesli, that's what we're gonna call it. Right, I'm about to go downstairs the night before, or 24 hours before my race. Watford evening, time trial type race things. I'm gonna make my pasta. I'll try and get videos, but obviously it's a bit awkward because of the family. But I'll, I'll show you tomorrow anyway. It's just fine. It's fine. Relax. That was a lie. His videos of me making my pasta. So obviously, first the ingredients. The main show is the pasta. Then we've got the pepper. I'll use half of it. The cucumber. Half of it. But I'll use all of that piece. Mozzarella. And I'll slap it right. Lettuce. Iceberg. My favourite type. My barbecue chicken. The protein. The multi oh no no the next day. Right guys, it's the actual morning of the race now, because I'm doing an evening race in Watford, one of the time trial things. You get put into the same race as people aiming for the same time as you, no matter what age group. So my nutrition will be a little bit different if my race was in the morning. I'd have my pasta the night before and at lunch. 
but I'd always have the same breakfast I'm about to have now. My lunch will probably just be a normal lunch, as I had yesterday again. But on my way there, or there, my dinner will be the pasta that I've made yesterday. See you throughout the day. So, almost done it now. So, I've got this, um, I'll show you. Almost done one of the new protein, uh, protein breakfast boost things. Because my one's almost run out, see there. It's all the way up to here, full. Ah, so. so, let's give a little review. High in protein, high in fiber, 100% natural and vegan. Vegan doesn't really affect me. It's just, just all good. And then this is the function thing I was talking about on the other one, but obviously it's a little bit different. Well, I'm not sure which one would help me more. I'll go this one, because why not? Try it, something new, there we go. Just need to add the honey after that. And then I'm also gonna have a bowl of the fruit salad with breakfast. It's all good. Don't forget the apple juice. We usually have for water in the morning, but race day, we've got a carb up. There you go. Alright, boys, it's about half ten on the watch. Just going for a short, not short walk by myself. Parents aren't home, so dogs aren't home. Let my dogs work. Still got keep warming up. It's a little bit active in the morning. I don't really know what to do because the race is in the evening, so. Yeah, it's quite a drive up as well. So I'm going to meet the people that I'm going up with at quarter past two. And then, yeah. Then I'm getting home about half eleven at night. Half eleven to midnight. Oi. Well, I've just left my house at five minutes ago. And it was sunny. Like, it was a proper summer's day. Now it's like it's going to rain. And then it's gone black in the sky. Like this time last year, it was like a world record, not world record, record temperatures. This year just fell off. Um, I'll see you at lunch. I'll update, boys. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. Headed back already. Quick 20 minute walk. Uh, not the best, but rather that than get soaked. Uh, cut my lip as well. Still bleeding. Snack. One of the day. Same time, just before 11 o'clock. Got to get plates out. And then, the main thing, the fruit itself. Apples. Did you know? An apple is better at waking you up in the morning than caffeine. I've seen that on Facebook. Please don't quote me. Boys, I'm feeling hungry today. So, there, next to the cafe. I'm gonna have a yogurt. And not a healthy one. Bye bye. Let's see if the light actually turns off that. Oh, it, it does, it does. Yeah, but, um, yeah, just gotta, just gotta eat today, not to get the energy calories in. I've already had just not like healthy stuff. Only one person seen me do that before. The lunch, about two hours before we leave now. So, same fillings, but I didn't have the rolls. Got a wrap, seasoned wrap, the vegetables. Uh, normal sandwich, got the crust of the same bread because why not? The crust, the crust and things of it. The crust has more protein than bread, and the outside of things tend to have more protein. So, apple skin has more protein than the rest of it, the cucumber skin, etc. Mm -hmm. Knowledge. Then afterwards, Got a little protein pouch from, not protein pouch, yogurt protein pouch from Aldi. From Aldi? It's from Aldi now. Yeah, it's pretty solid. 
see you on the road. Here now, boys. Got my number already. Go right fast, I'll say. Wait for a little look. So, wait. My actual race. I was put in the 415 race. My previous PB being 423. I ran a 421. The plan being I got dragged around by the quicker runners. Actually having someone to race against compared to every other race this season. But the race did begin very slowly. The first two laps both being 70 seconds apiece. However, the last 700 sped up a lot, but it felt great for me. I loved it being that way around. My kick began earlier, going around the main pack. I love actually racing people as well. But uh, my main cause of concern in my previous races was the Magic 300. The 300 metres prior to the bell, also known as the third lap, I, I slowed down in that, I, that part of the race usually, but not an issue at Watford. However, I did feel I got cut off on the bend of the Magic 300, but we live. I managed to get free of that group. I was kind of in between the front runners, front runners getting 415, and the pack behind me who I heard 422s, 423s. Obviously, Mitra being just in front, 421. Post race, we stopped on our way back for a KFC. We got, I got home personally at just before midnight, went to sleep at midnight, and woke up 9.20 a.m. The day after was the Suffolk show. If you don't know what it is, it's a show in Suffolk. <laughs> there was like the farmers, anything and everything's there. Search up online. Got a few things, got all these stickers. <laughs> Pretty much all I have though. I got, yeah, most other things I have. Like leaflets, etc. Got some fudge. Nice to have. Relax, relaxation, nice to have a treat every now and then, even though I paid for it myself. <laughs> I don't like part of my own money. But yeah, very enjoyable day. In the afternoon though, I went for a gentle run as recovery. And I'll talk through that now. Next day, about to do a 5k. Let's go. Just an easy run. Try to focus my breathing in and out from my nose. Try to get as deep as breath as possible. Yep. Try to maximize my VO2 max. Race day. Feeling good. Yeah. Nice and mile down. But go back into the village for the next 1.8 miles. Yeah. Feeling good. Remember to warm up. Even on easy runs, I'll jog maybe half a mile and then just a like half my race or my proper session warm up. So if I had to do eight or something, I'd do four of it. A gentle warm up for a gentle run. Simples. Easy runs are also a great time to practice your technique. So I've been told I twist my arms a lot. Obviously that's exaggerated, but as I'm getting it, so it twists my body. If you turn them upwards like this, it forces you to go back and forth. Ooh. So yeah, practicing that, get my arms being as efficient as possible. Yeah. If you're struggling with anything else, you can also do that. If you lean back, try and lean forward. If you need to get your, what's it called, your cadence up. So I know, uh, ultra marathon is a flight. 180 strides per minute or something alike practice that count in your head use it usual easy runs one thing I want to say about runs as well never this is 20 years it's dangerous unrealistic for race days because it enhances something in your brain that makes you perform better so if you're running or training with music or as prepared as you would be for race days where you won't have that music. It's 
instead. Try and focus on something like your breathing, your technique. That's actually useful. It won't hold you back on your race days. But obviously, if you like music, it's not going to affect you as much. Put it in. It's not a massive thing. Just something to think about. Another thing you can focus on is your uh, foot strikes. So you know, like heel strike, mid foot, and fore foot. The most efficient way, in my opinion, is mid foot. You'll strain yourself too much on your fore foot and your heel strike. It will slow you down. Heel striking. Obviously, it depends what type of race you're in. I know the sprinters. And the race is designed to 1500 I think middle to four foot is the best but if it's like marathoners obviously you will strike in as it won't be as um, straining on your legs and on you that's my opinions on it please check my mind first don't take my word for it so that's my three miles done. In total, including the warm up, it took me, wait a second for it to come around, 26 and a half minutes. I'd say about five of that or more was my warm up. So that was about 20 to 21 minutes to do the 5k. Like I said, I'm very gentle post race, but breathing for my nose, etc., increasing that baseline. I'll use this metaphor in a video, a full form video sometime. It's the pyramid trying to increase your baseline. If you watch running content, you'll see. You know what I understand, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So what I like to do with my easy runners, it's about 5k. If I do 5k, I do half a mile, really gently away from my house. Then I'll, half a mile's a bit generous. Maybe like 600 meters. Then I'll do my stretches, do my drills, a little bit, etc. And then I'll go off on incoming. I won't, I won't measure it so I finish at my house. Maybe a few hundred meters before, I'll do my cooling down stretches. And that'll give me a good 400, 300 meter cool, uh, jog cool down. That is what I like to do. I'm about to start my cool down now. Good stuff. Post run a few banana drink. I think it's mine. I actually poured it like five minutes, five seconds ago. Yeah, that's gone. A wee bit of recovery rolling to finish. Cold shower. Then I spend this night editing this video. I'll do my night routine. I'll put that in my night routine another video. I keep saying I will, I promise I will see you guys. Just waiting up time. This is higher on my list of priorities. This video I mean.